All righty. We are live. Live, everybody. Anybody out there? I know this is weird because this is a Sunday. So it's going to be kind of tricky. Well, I mean, you can hear me. Like, I mean, we can have I mean, a conversation. Yeah, yeah we can have a conversation because so as you notice right now, we're not in our um, regular. This is in our regular space. Yeah, regular place. setup. Um, so we're working with what we got. Uh, oh, look. Hey, Mr. Caleb. Caleb's he's here. In, he's in chat. Of Caleb's course. Here. Thank you. Caleb's our Thank you, Caleb. Fan. Yes, he is. He is. Well, Always. I mean, I would say a lot of your cousins would claim them claim to be like one of the more clients yeah yeah one of them even says that we're famous jacob uh-huh jacob so i was trying to look up the podcast to see how we sound oh, okay um let me double check um let me yeah it sounds good yeah yeah, good. yeah. all right that so that's one thing that i've got We've, I mean, you've heard it too. We've gotten compliments of like how it sounds. How it sounds. Like, how yeah, it sounds. Yeah, yeah. As we, it sounds like a professional, I guess, we podcast. Got, we got some I friends mean, of ours from Tracer are like, yo, I actually sound yeah, like a yeah. true podcast. Yeah. So it's like. I mean, I would hope so because, I mean, we're both like, in a sense, sound engineers or yeah, like you know, music production and all. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that was one thing that I really did want to make it like uh, good, at least, you know, the sound quality. Yeah, yeah the sound of course. Quality of course. Be good. We have to have good sound quality. Mm -hmm. I'd rather y'all hear us better than see us. Yep. Yeah. And again, with my handy dandy soundboard, yeah. you can't. You can't I won't be able to hear. You it, can't hear it, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm trust here. you yeah, with yeah, your yeah, sounds. Yeah. I'm gonna trust. I mean, you. I still have the same sounds as you know, as usual. I'm gonna add more. I want to add more. I have 16 pads here. Well, technically, I have on this nifty little thing. Uh, so I've showed. See it if y'all uh, can see it. The Roland. The Roland. Um, let me go back because I cannot. Yeah, there it is. Um, the Roland SP44. Um, it got 16 pads. And one, two, three, four, five, five banks. Well, ten banks in a sense. Yeah. So, one hundred sixty sounds, sounds I could put on here. Yeah. Quick math. Quick math. Quick, quick <laughs> math. Quick math. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyways, you know what's different about this podcast? What's that? I'm not wearing a hat. Oh. Oh yeah. I think really? in like every podcast before this, I had a hat on. Okay. So now y'all can see what luscious yeah. hair I have. Mm, nice. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. luscious oh, hair. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's the first time. Well. I guess the first time we attempted headphones, but I'm the one with headphones. And this is the first time not being in this regular studio. Mm -hmm. Today we are, if y'all don't know, we actually go to church together. We yes. work together. Mm -hmm. we live together. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, don't. No, 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 no. It's not that far. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we as y'all know, on Thursday, we usually do our Thursdays and Thursdays or Fridays. Fridays Thursday or Friday, yeah. Of the week, but um, some stuff came up, mm -hmm. uh, some family some I, family things happened. I guess we can uh, ask for like prayers for your family at this so at this time. Everybody, yeah. if you could, mm -hmm. my grandmother is in the hospital. She mm -hmm. underwent a, a knee surgery, mm -hmm. and uh, we're just asking for prayers that she can go through therapy and get out of there as, as soon as possible. She can get back home. So, um, so that's kind of the reason we we didn't do it because mm -hmm. I was taking care of her grandma. But yeah. um, yeah, just prayers for her. And uh, mm -hmm. so we rescheduled it for for today. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, yeah. And uh, yeah. we are at our church. Yes. Oh, yeah. For y'all that, yeah. that come with us and, and, mm. and our members. Yeah. Well, in the morning, we had a service, and our church has two services, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Um, so if y'all out there still watching from, I don't know if y'all don't come to church or aren't the people that, you know, are regularly listen to us. You know, I guess your family. Uh, <laughs> your our fam. Because your family knows, family. and the yeah, guys at no. church know. Yeah, yeah. But at 6 o'clock, you know, we have our uh, evening service. So if you would like to join us, yeah. but yeah, and to the people, I guess that are listening that are here right now there, cause there's a few people that are still here. So if, if y'all want the kitchen, y'all yeah. want to bring us some food <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, if you want to pop in, uh, say, say, Hey, or whatever, uh, in chat and in real, in real I guess, life. real we life. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. We just kind of say, come and say hi yeah. to the podcast. Or if you want to join us and like put in some, your two cents of what we're about to talk yeah. about. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, but first off, I mean, how was your week so far? The week has been good, just working. Just working. You know, yeah. we Yeah. I know y'all had that job yesterday. Oh yeah, we we had a we had a job. Uh, we had to go in for work yesterday. Yeah. Um but uh none too bad. None none we could handle. Yeah, no. Y'all yeah. incredible. You and Al. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to our well, he doesn't want us to to mention him anymore. Oh, yeah, no yeah, more mentioning. No, no. Well, I mean, I guess cuz he thinks we're like making fun of him. Or something. 
<laughs> I'll make fun of you, Al. I will. That's my that's my go-to. He's our shot for me at work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if this if the y'all we don't see, you don't see the cool little things in the background anymore. We're, yeah, unfortunately. We're just straight. Yeah. Or maybe we might remodel this room and just make this the podcast. No, I'm just kidding. The, like the <laughs> we podcast all studio. See us paint on you. <laughs> we were uh, just gonna do it. We're not gonna ask anybody. Yeah, we're not gonna ask permission. Ask forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. permission. Yeah. That's how it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Your dad says that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I but how, yeah. I wonder how mad he'd be if mm. we ended up. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I hope Elmer's not watching this yeah. right now. <laughs> well, if your brother is. Don't tell Elmer. <laughs> Just don't tell him. He, he won't care. Probably like, I don't, I don't care. It's like, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah. But I mean, my week, same thing. Um, I, I did want to talk about it like. Um, there's there is a small topic I did want to talk about. A lot of people talk about this. I feel like in podcasts too. Yeah. Um, it's kind of funny. It's a funny little I guess debate. Um, well, so last Tuesday, well, well yeah, the, this past Tuesday, I uh, mean my brother went to Dallas uh, for work, Good. and uh, coming back we passed by lunch and we decided to go to In and Out. Oh, In-N-Out. and so snap. and so there's I know there's the debate, especially in Texas, like. Ooh. The In-N-Out versus Whataburger kind of oh, deal. Oh, you think that get us in trouble? And everybody, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I I feel like it's a big controversy. So I'll say this, and my brother agrees too. Because, so I'll say uh, it's my second or third time having it, uh, but it was my brother's first time, and so we decided to go, and uh, we got uh, just so any every nobody will like start arguing like oh you should have got this you got this. yeah I, we got like the most popular one which is the the double 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 yeah it's just a double cheeseburger yeah. and fries and just regular fries and drink um i know some people might say like they have an animal style fries which yeah. is like they they have the sauce the cheese yeah and they have like ground beef on yeah, it yeah, yeah. yeah and i was thinking of getting it uh but i forgot i just like oh, i already ordered so, so well so speaking of that we went to vegas mm. with my family and we stopped at it and out and I love the animal fries, mm-hmm. but with no onions. And mm. I forgot to get yeah. no onions. So I was like, does anybody want my animal fries? I'm going to go get it <laughs> with no onions because yeah. I'm picky. My girlfriend knows how picky mm. I am. And I know my whole family knows how picky I am. Yeah. So onions are just like a no-go. Yeah. So I'll say it's overrated. In and out is just overrated. Uh, I, I'm not going to argue that. Yeah, it's I just it's just overrated. It's overhyped, overrated. Um it's good like it's like but like people especially obviously it's mainly from the west coast you know california and all that yeah. but people like like praise it you know i guess yeah. in the same sense as like texas like with whataburger but, they and, they praise it too and i find it already because i feel like here in shreveport mm-hmm. i could find a better burger yeah yeah like you go to griff's yeah we have a griff's yeah here mm-hmm. we have a griff's and that's like a little mom and pop shop mm-hmm. but if i think about it we have a lot of mom and pop shops that i prefer yeah instead of um Instead of big name brands, yeah, yeah. like, um, like if like Southern Classic, mm-hmm. that chicken to me is the best chicken. Yeah, and you won't find no, Southern it's good, Classic yeah. other than here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, for me, it's overrated. I mean, like I said, it was it's good overrated. burger. It's overrated. That's a good burger. Um, I guess good fast. Like it is a good fast food burger. Yeah, but uh, and I asked my brother about it, and it was funny because uh, where we went, um, there was a Canes across <laughs> across street, and so. <laughs> He he said, "Well, I'll still pick that other uh, rather than this. The canes, the <laughs> yeah, the canes, canes the, the raisin canes, all, rather than I think yeah. We all would. Even though yeah. sometimes canes, is- yeah. I mean, yeah. Again, yeah. I mean, and again, I I mean, I don't know like what it is with. Well, I don't know if like I feel like because it, it it was good quality, you know. Because I feel like too they'll argue like, oh, you should come to California and get it, you yeah, know? yeah. But uh, but um, I was talking about this to Al also, and he said that he had it also. He had it in California." And he said the same thing. It's like just over. It's just the same. You know, it's just I, a burger. I don't think you can get better. It's just a no good burger. Where, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chain. And, and so I'll say this too with Whataburger. I mean, um, I feel like for me, because since I've had it so many times, uh, I will. I used to praise it in a sense like it is like good. It's like a good fast food like yeah. burger too. Yeah, yeah, but uh, same thing. Like it's like it's okay. You know, it's not the best to me now. It's not mm-hmm. the best anymore. Like it's like it's and okay. It, but it's okay, we're we were talking about like it's overhyped about mm-hmm. you know in and out. But 
for, I don't even get a burger at Whataburger. Mm. So if, for the debate I hear, I hear that, that. Yeah, saying, I hear that too. <laughs> I'm going to choose in and out because I will get a burger. That's mm. all they sell there yeah, is a burger. Yeah. I mean, like I said, uh, I'll go there again if like someone like wants to go. I'll go. Yeah, yeah, but I it's saw, not my first choice. Though. Yeah, I'm not it won't be my first. It. Yeah, we're not yeah. against. Yeah. It. Yeah. It, yeah, I'm not but gonna yeah, we're talk. Not, we're gonna not go out of our way to go get in. Yeah, like like many people do. Like yeah. they're like, oh man, In and Out. Like, I, I uh, need to I, go. Yeah, like, no. like, have you had In and Out? Like, oh, it's the best. You have In and Out? Are you crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah, no, no not, not, none of that. None and, of that. But one place that I think me and you would go out of our way for mm. is the only place in like the closest one we have in Longview is Jack in the Box. Oh yeah, Jack in the Box. Well, I feel like that it's good, but like. Yeah, I feel like people are going to say like that's like nasty and everything because their menu is really out there. Is really out, like they've got it's just burgers, cheesecake burgers, chicken sandwiches, tacos. Tacos. They even have like a Chinese bowl. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah, they have salads, all that. They, but I, yeah, I love it. I feel like it's very uh, underrated. But I mean, with every every has a preference, you know. Every because to me, um, what I love about Jack and Box too is uh, is actually the tacos. It's like, which is surprising for a lot of people. Yeah, only. for me, like, yeah, it's yes, tacos. Yes, yes. Those I love. Tacos are I love. Absolutely crazy like, good. Yeah, even even though it it might make me sick, like I don't care. I don't like, care. You know, yeah, I don't, I don't care. care. Was I going <laughs> okay. to Jack in the Box to stay healthy? So yeah, yeah no. exactly. Yeah, um, yeah, I would rather pick uh, Jack in the Box over Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Same, Bell. I would too. <laughs> for the Taco tacos. Bell, gives me bad indigestion, man. Mm, no, okay. like I can't yeah. sleep. I have oh. to take like a Nexium or something. Dang, I'm old, man. I've got an old person body, but um. Yeah. yeah, no, for the debate. It's a little, yeah, food wars kind of debate. It kind of yeah, depends. Because we can go, we can we can do food debates as in Chick-fil-A Raisin Kings. Mm-hmm. We can do food debates as in uh, McDonald's Burger King. Yeah. And speaking of like, speaking of something's nasty, I enjoy Burger King and Arby's. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I say those two because every time I'm like, dude, I could go for an Arby's sandwich. Everybody looks yeah, at me. Every- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's, again, preference, just preference. And just, I guess... Their reputation, I guess, or like other people's experience, like yeah, what they're yeah, like, you know. Course. But I mean, it's to each his own, you know. Yeah. Uh, in the end, it's to each his own. It's wrong. just their it's like okay. opinion. There, yeah. yeah. Com- comment or put in the chat, like what? What's your favorite fast food? Like what's your favorite fast what's your favorite food? Favorite over? Fast food? You know, I can other. I can already guess Caleb's and like Claire and Caleb, the people, the two mm-hmm. people. Claire's is, is Chick Fil A and Caleb's is Raising Canes. Mm-hmm. They're gonna put it in there. Yeah, Canes. You see, I already knew. <laughs> yeah. What was her? Hers might be Chick Fil. I don't know. But like we could also do stuff like Chipotle and Moe's. You mm. ever been to either of those? Uh, Chipotle, um, but not uh, not, not Moe's. Or no, no, no. I've I've seen it around, but uh, I've not gone. I gotten. prefer Moe's. Mm, okay. Instead of the high branch yeah. Chipotle. Yeah. Uh, same thing with me. I, I mean, uh, I feel like now it's died down. But used to, yeah, Chipotle was like a big thing, especially yeah, for yeah. me in high school. Like all my friends, they like. It's because like during their youth and stuff like that, they would go to like to their oh Chipotle or whatever, or like I the trips or whatever. Chipotle, yeah. Chipotle is my life. <laughs> sorry, I had it. it is a vine. Uh, I remember his vine. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go so off topic. Vine was crazy. Yeah, um, they both got them. You see, I got both of them. <laughs> both. Yeah. But uh, Vine, honestly, when the Vine came out, I I had a phone. But I wasn't into like the social media and everything at the time, or even like any social media. And I, I mean, I heard of Vine and everything, but I would see Vines mostly on YouTube. I'll see the Vines because it'll be compilations. Yeah, compilations. Be the, comp- the compilations. Dude, Marlon Webb. It'll be funny. That was our compilation mm-hmm. go-to for me. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. That's crazy. Um, I used to do Musically in Dub Smash. It was the TikTok of back in the day, bro. Oh wait, oh uh, yeah, I heard. Bro, uh, yeah, I remember. I heard of it. The cringiest yeah. stuff I used to do. Mm. I used to post them on Instagram, mm. and I used to get likes on them. <laughs> I should have become a TikTok star. Yeah, That's all I'm saying. Doing the renegade. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but right. yeah, go. Let's let's veer back on track. Um, I for for a burger, mm. if we're just doing water burger in and out, I'm choosing in and out. But for a chicken sandwich, go to water burger. Water burger. Yeah. The grilled chicken sandwich. They put like this water sauce on it. Mm. Mm, okay, I haven't had the chicken. Sandwich. I've, it's a grilled chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah. The next time. Okay, because uh, I any like chicken sandwich I get is the the honey barbecue chicken honey barbecue sandwich. chicken strip sandwich. You that know one, what I do that for that favorite. one? What was that? Instead of the honey barbecue, I get honey butter. Mm. Try it. Uh, it's good. Like I like the, uh-huh. well, I, I like the the breakfast one. The honey the, butter. The honey butter yeah, chicken yeah, sandwich. yeah, it's yeah, that, that, good. Just yeah. with the the, the, the Texas the sauce. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I prefer the honey butter over the honey barbecue. Okay. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm hungry. Yeah, I do. Now I'm hungry. Let's go get water burger. Oh, yeah. this. Um 
So yeah. So we had a big thing happen. Oh yeah. Well, well to me for the street poor people it was it was mid. Yeah. It was so mid. We had the eclipse happen. The eclipse, yes. So um if we're still here, we didn't die and the eclipse theories were wrong. Yeah, yes. But there are people that are saying that like it's a warning. Oh, so my you know because God gives signs to, uh, you know, in the sky. He would give signs, you know, through the sky and all that. Yeah. Um, but sometimes there's warnings and all. My my thing is, which it might get, I feel like this is like a little controversial in a sense. Okay. Because okay. it is like, you know, people are using the Bible. And but I feel like, um, like if you're strong in your faith and like with discernment, you will, you yourself will understand like, you know, what is you know, the Holy Spirit will, you know, yeah. tell you like, yeah. hey, you know, this is kind of iffy. Uh, you know, this is not, you know, this, you know, if that's yeah. the the thing that's telling you, like, I don't think, you know, there's a little red flag here. You know, I don't think this is what. Right. Yeah. But to me, it's like I feel like uh, which, again, it might be controversial in a sense of like people are going to like argue about it. Like, oh, you know, but it says this in the Bible says this is this, this, and yeah. uh, the Bible says a lot of things. <laughs> it does, it lot of things. Um, but I feel like that when like these events like whether it happens in the sky yeah sure um and the bible does say like god will like you know uh, give us signs in the sky you know things will you know happen you know in the world and all that uh yeah definitely but i feel like if these like i guess in a sense quote unquote signs or like events um are predicted by man i feel like those aren't necessarily True. signs from god yeah a true sign of god would be like something like nobody could have predicted you know it's like nobody you know and i guess you could argue like the prophets were the ones that you know uh yeah. predicted them for god you know they were messengers of god mm. um but nowadays they're they're not heard of i mean it's it's even uh, so said like yeah you know there, there's no like these there's times no there's no prophets no, here no. No. Yeah, no um and people were going to argue about that like because I, I know there's like in other churches or other denominations they the call like their pastors or a like prophet. a prophet yeah. he's a prophet you know no. which is no that's sorry, like that's uh I'm, no, it's that's just, a major red flag to us i feel like like that's not true and so when it comes to like events like this and stuff i feel like there's nothing to fear in that sense of like and i mean uh even if it was like a sign of god there still shouldn't be nothing to fear because um if hey your faith what are you scared of yeah if you're true to faith yeah, like what, hey what's going on like like about time, yeah. Yeah. about time. Let's let's get out let's of here. Let's get out of here, dude. I'm yeah. thinking about it. Um, we had a conversation with my aunt and uncle. Mm. If they're watching, we love you guys. Um, we had a conversation about like passing a, a family passing away, mm. family member passing. Yeah, away. yeah. And my both my mom's grandparents, both my mom's parents, mm. my grandparents on my mom's side, they both passed away. Mm. And they were like, "Look, we cried so much for when they passed away, mm. but then I was." filled with rejoice mm. that they're not living in this other yeah. world anymore mm. and so right now that you said that it's just like yeah i mean this yeah. world is crazy yeah there yeah there's uh many ways to uh um go through that in a sense of grief yeah and yeah and the acceptance of like um yeah we we shouldn't be well we have our time of mourning you know yeah. as, uh, as humans you know we yeah we we grieve and everything but at the end of the day um because of your faith and uh that relationship with christ you know that you know they're in a better place like yeah. truly truly in the better. so yeah yeah because uh yeah and same thing because uh my mom uh her mom my grandma she uh she passed away also mm -hmm. she had uh i think it's been two or three years i think i could be wrong uh someone so my sister probably correct me or someone whoever <laughs> Christina, uh, give us the year that <laughs> but uh but yeah and uh no it was tough and the thing is uh i didn't really know her like my uh th that side because at the, that time i didn't i wasn't going to mexico like i mean yeah. usually uh, i am now and uh i didn't really know uh a lot of my mom's like family that's you know uh her side and everything um only knew like a few aunts and everything mm -hmm. that were here mm -hmm. um but when that happened um yeah it was really devastating because for my mom she you know it's been now i think it's been over 30 years she's been to mexico back to mexico and she hasn't seen her she hasn't seen yeah, she i mean yeah. she would speak to her on the phone and everything and, and everything was good but when that moment when she also like was she had an illness and uh she uh unfortunately passed away yeah that that moment it was just like that was a bad like that was bad terrible like you know you know but she grieved you know she grieved yeah. and then um I, and that's where like yeah you're 
your faith is truly tested because yeah. that's one of the yeah. things where um, prayer comes into play in the sense of like uh, you want to pray and uh, you know you ask this of God and Jesus um, but unfortunately like you hear you might not hear an answer or the answer might not be what you what want you wanted. And uh, yeah, talking about this on the yeah and we, we talked about time. this last time um, uh, with the whole uh, Kanye, Kanye thing, thing. Uh, with exactly. his opinion of that. Yeah. And so it is tough. And that is where your faith is tested. And uh, it might be it, it will be tough. And it's, it, you know, it's a trial that you have to go through. Uh, but it's something that God is putting on yeah, you exactly. and he's putting something on to. And I, I, I know we've heard this before uh, where it's uh, he's never going to put something that you can't, can't handle. handle. Exactly. You can't handle. Or even if it's not something that you're ready for, like he'll, he feels, I, you know, I believe that he feels that, uh, that, uh, it's something he's preparing you for and, uh, that you are ready. Um, uh, and so, uh, so yeah. And, no, I get it. Yeah. I get, I get in, uh, the sense of like having your faith, like yeah. true faith. So yeah. When we were going back to what you just said about like the prophets and, you mm -hmm. know, things about this world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause a lot, I, I, you know, you you have too, like seeing a lot of social media and stuff, yeah. and I, and that's another thing too. We uh, us as Christian, Christian, like social media, uh, like with anything, I feel like it's it is like it's a tool that we can use to help spread the word. But at the same time, it's a double edged sword, you know, because there's might be some, in a sense, uh, the enemy will you know kind of provoke yeah. you to kind of speak out of term. Kind of exactly what Kanye was doing that what we talked about in the other yeah part. yeah he was using yeah, exactly. His, he's a very popular person. Mm -hmm. He's saying some stuff about God that we don't. Yeah. Agree with. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, whenever it came to the eclipse and everything, like a lot of people were kind of like saying like, oh, you know, the, the, end, times. the end times and like it's be prepared. Be over, uh, Jerusalem, Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so all yeah. the conspiracy theories that was just like yeah, guys and, that has. And it's funny because there's some like other podcasts or like other people that are that are into that and they they kind of were swaying towards that, like saying like, oh, you know, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, we don't. Um, but I mean, yeah, we don't exactly, know. We, we don't, don't know. And we don't know. Well, and I, I feel like um, it is like interesting to talk about. It is like fun. Like fun. I, I take yeah. it more of like it's fun to talk about. Like it's interesting to see like uh, those reactions or those uh, predictions. Yeah. And I like um, how you said um, when when we're tested, we don't know what God's, how God's going to answer. Mm -hmm. and when we want something or need something, we don't know how God's going to answer mm -hmm. So if we don't even know how God's going to answer what we want, why are we trying to know how he's going to come back? Yeah, I, I think, uh, and it's been, uh, a lot of people have said this too, where it's um, like us as humans want to know. Like it's our nature in the sense of wanting to know the unknown or we're yeah. scared of the unknown. Yeah. And so we try to uh, figure this out or evaluate like the situation and say like, and try have try to have an understanding just so we could be prepared. Mm -hmm. I guess that's our subconscious in the sense of like wanting to be prepared. As you, I know I am. Like I, I always want to be prepared in like certain situations when it comes to work or yeah. like uh, yeah. uh, my daily life. You know, and everything. I, I'm not one to like just jump in like without a plan or anything. Yeah, no. Um, no. I always get a little nervous or you know. But some people do. Some people just jump in and like whatever happens nope. happens. Um, but I do feel like. Um, that goes along with like uh, having that. Uh, uh, how you say it? that? That faith, um, that un undying faith. I don't know. Like, I could say like um, unwavering faith. Okay. Unwavering faith. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like whatever happens, you know, I got Jesus behind me. You know, yeah, he's he's, 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 yeah, yeah. he's he's always with me. He's gonna help me out. Reg regardless regardless from thinking of what things, happens, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, that. That happens. That that yeah. happens. You know, that definitely happens. I, I wish I had that kind of confidence. No, yeah, definitely. Uh, me but too. Like, Same. Like you said, I, I'm a very organized. Yeah. Like, everything. Kind yeah, of it has to. Place, yeah. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. yeah. No. Um, I feel like I'm growing. Like I'm, uh, the more, and I feel like once you understand the word more and more, you will, that will happen. Like yeah. that will, like you'll get more open and more confident in that faith and that jump, you know, and to jump to the next thing, uh, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, I I agree completely with all of this. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, we we had the eclipse happen and uh, yeah, it and and it was crazy because you remember the Sunday cool, the Ninjas of Butterflies podcast. Yeah, yeah. Were, like shout out, shout out. We know you're watching. <laughs> if you ever want to be on the podcast, <laughs> oh. we'll maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, oh yeah, yeah. Um, they were talking about how like 
in 2017 when they had the eclipse, they were like, y'all make sure to get the right glasses because mm. Amazon's selling fakes. Yeah, yeah. But that this year's was make sure y'all have gas in those cars. Make mm, sure yeah, y'all yeah. stocked up on food. And yeah. It's just like... It, it was kind of weird. It is kind of weird because it does like... Um, like the theories people were going with. Was yeah, the conspiracy, like that. they were going for it and, uh, and they were like thinking like, well, what do they know? And we don't know. Like, because yeah. yeah. so, but like, it's like the government that's telling you this. Like, it's mm-hmm. selling like all, all that. Are they just trying but, to scare us? Yeah. I don't know. Like, that's my other thing about like conspiracies too. Like, when it comes to like the government, like uh, the government knows too much and like, it's not telling us everything. Yeah. And yeah, no, everything. Right. Um, I feel like people, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it, it does get me a little heated <laughs> because I'm like, make sure your ears a little red, a little hot. <laughs> Cause I'm like, guys, come on. Like, I feel like it's, it's all, it's a, it's like, it's, it's a known secret. Like in a like sense, the government's not telling us. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and cause I hear a lot of people getting upset or like raving in the sense of like, it's like, Oh, you, you know, you're like, like pretty much saying like, I was like, Oh, they're not telling you anything. You know, they're, they're going to get you yeah. stuff like that. And I'm like, cool, man. I know, you know, we, we all know like, and, and then like they get mad because like, well, why aren't you doing anything? Well, what are we going to do? Yeah, what, what, can, what do you want like, me? Yeah. What, what do you want a, us? A Bishop employee it, 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 <laughs> to go like, against the government. And it, at the end of the day, like, you know, okay. We get the amount of people to believe you or believe that, you know, this is a whole conspiracy. And like the truth is revealed that, and the government says like, yeah, we haven't been telling you everything. Like this is the truth actually. And okay. So what next? What are you going to do? Like what's after that? Like there, like when I found out, not when I found out, but like there, there, you know that when a president's inaugurated Mm -hmm. that, I think it's that night that they're inaugurated. They go into, it's it's called the something room. Mm. I think it's not the, it's not war room. It's um, something room. Where the president will go in the room filled with you know, top people in the in the government. It's like the Secretary of State, the the what's the war leader, the the person who goes to war. Uh, yeah, the military. Right. Like, so yeah. so they have it's it's a, it's a limited number of people, but it's still the high people in, in the Capitol building in the, in the in the presidential office. He'll go into this room, and I remember when they said that when Barack Obama went into this room, he was smiling, he was happy, he just mm-hmm. got inaugurated, he had just won the presidency. Barack Obama goes into this room, and in this room, they show him things of the world mm. that nobody else will know. Mm. They show him things that are happening in the United States, out of the United States, mm. around the world. And he then they say that when he walked into this room, he was all smiling, mm. he was happy. And when he walked out of the room, he had a, just a blank yes. stare on his face. Mm. Just this, this face of just... Uh, just sadness, yeah. terror, mm. horror. But he knew as a president, okay, it's time to get to work. I yeah. Guess. Which, I mean, what do you... Yeah, and I feel like, like people... What, what are you going to tell us? What yeah, because I feel like people also think they don't get the bigger picture, you know, no, in the sense never. of like, do you realize like what you're asking or like what you're wanting? I don't think we can cover it. And uh, I feel like those people are like more like the impatient, you know, I guess going back to like, yeah. I guess Christ and everything. Because uh, even, uh, like, I mean, yeah, we're not going to know everything, but the truth, you know, will be revealed in the end. You know, there is, yeah, there is a part where it says, like, yeah, once we're, you know, we're in heaven and everything, we will be revealed mm-hmm. the truth, you yeah. know, and all that. And I feel like that'd be, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I can wait. I can wait until then, yeah, you know, like, out, just wait it out, you know, and know the truth in a sense. Because I have that faith, you know, like, I have that like, faith. Let me ask the people that are, like, Oh, what, what are you gonna do? Like these are the many of the people. Like, what are you gonna do when you're twelve dollars flipping burgers now? Or what are <laughs> yeah, you no. gonna go do? Yeah, like, like to the average to the average person. Average you know, person. Because I feel like the average person doesn't like. We talk about all this stuff. It's all interesting to us and everything. It's fun to, to you know, uh, talk about it and the conspiracies yeah. and all. But to the average person, and all honestly, like they're just worried about like getting through rent. You know, trying to yeah, trying to make exactly. rent. <laughs> like, like I know people right now that are they're struggling through school. Yeah. They're going through rents that are living by themselves. Those are the people that they don't care about this kind of stuff. Yeah, they're, they're like, too much time like yeah, them. they're like yeah. I mean, but and we're know. talking about conspiracies. What's what's your favorite conspiracy, Jose? Um. <laughs> I was kind of. Uh, I want to go first, and you think about it. No, no. Uh, I, I just, I just had one in mind, but it, uh, I don't, it's a little too dark. <laughs> no, nah, hey, hey, hey! Everybody <laughs> on the podcast, 
we go into some real yeah, deep yeah. stuff. Like be chill, be chill. So guys, chill, if you don't chill, want to listen chill, to these dark stuff, chill. You but it was it was it was a uh, just joke. But I mean, uh, I was gonna say there's a nine eleven was a was an inside job. <laughs> We're gonna get into it. You want to get into it right now? <laughs> nah, nah. I, 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 I mentioned it to you before, but yeah, I did yeah, have a uh, I did have a teacher um, in high school that was that was really into it. Like yeah. there was a part, like I think there was a week in like school, like that's what he would just show us like YouTube videos, conspiracy videos of like, of, of like, uh, it's always like those male history. Teachers. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm like, like, okay, we, we get it. Uh, I mean, you, you believe that you believe this, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, it was inside job and all now, that. Now I know someone in the, in the chat right now was a nine 11, just fanatic. <laughs> Caleb went into so much, to learn about 9-11. Caleb knows so much about yeah. 9-11. And I don't know <laughs> what he thinks about 9-11. Because I've, I've heard both sides. I've mm. heard that it was, yeah, it was a terrorist attack. But I've heard the side of it's like it was it was done on purpose. Mm. One, to strengthen America. Mm. To bring us all together. To unite us again. Because we were like veering off track or something. Yeah. And, and it was just like, yeah, it was something to bring us together. And so I've heard both sides. Yeah, of it, where it's, like, it's a lot. Um, and I feel like. There's always the two sides and a lot of on the big, you know, big conspiracy theories and all that. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of information about like all this. And another one is like, uh, uh, did we land on the moon or was it like oh, fake? Was, was it a TV it was like, or was it a movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I've a, heard about that. Yeah. I mean, there's it, so, uh, yeah, there's a lot of like uh, and a lot of people will argue also like saying like, uh, well, why aren't we interested in space anymore? You know, yeah. what, what's going on? Yeah. And they won't believe you or they won't believe the government in the sense like, well, we, well, we're just not putting the funds in. And I mean, which is true, which is true, because yeah. Yeah. at that time, you know, sure, the space race and everything yeah. we went to the moon, um, came back down. Uh, there was a shuttle program, went to, you know, went to space and everything. Um, but the, the reality is uh, up until then, like people lost interest interest yeah. like there yeah. was no more interest in going to space nobody cared you know really and are we really putting in our like tax dollars and like to nasa yeah, to go really to keep going that, which no. what else is to uh, but i feel like now i guess in this time i don't know if you've noticed too this time uh there is a lot of that in the sense of like the conspiracy theories and like or asking why why aren't we back there you know why now we're interested now, now we're kind of getting back. and so that's why uh nasa they had said they're going back um i think back to the moon um, in twenty twenty six, somewhere around twenty twenty six, somewhere around the twenty I saw twenty twenty something. I saw a dude perfect video that they were doing like bucket lists, mm -hmm. and one of the members I think was uh, Kobe. He got into space and they went into space. Mm. Like they had their I think it was seventeen minutes in space. Yeah. So I can already see that that yeah we're getting back interested in this. And yeah. Even Elon mm -hmm. wants to go to space. Yeah. He yeah. Wants to get a, yeah. Like a yeah there's a lot. Yeah. All the, yeah. the billionaires they want to. Yeah. They want to. Yeah. And then, but. Then you'll get those in conspiracies like, well, why? Well, why do why, or why they want to go to space? You it's know, like what's going to happen? Win. And like, yeah, like in the end, like with conspiracy theories, uh, a lot of the major ones. Um, there, yeah, there's no winning. There's no like yeah, there, no, neither. Because no. if you bring even if you bring the evidence, the truth, the hardcore evidence, the truth of like, like, this is the reason like this is what happened. And, and depending on who gives it, there's still going to be another side that's going to be like, oh, well, you faked it. Or you yeah, forge exactly, exactly. these documents. Yeah, yeah. It's not true because it doesn't go with what I believe in. Like with because what I believe in, it's true, you know. And, and what you're doing is and wrong. what you're doing is wrong. Yeah, exactly. You're trying to twist yeah, my words, exactly. and so there's no winning. There's no there's winning in like history. But again, in that sense, like it is fun to talk about. It's funny. Yeah. Um, where like yeah, like the how the the landing the moon landing was faked and everything, and it's funny. And there and there's movies like um uh, like actual movies that uh are kind of like in a sense. You know, uh, they, based they, off that, like, like yeah. you know, like they're asking these directors in the movie, you know, like, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to do the space race and everything. We're trying to win. We, we can't get up there, so let's just film it. And then that whole movie premises that, and it's kind of like comedic, you know, funny and everything. Yeah, and they're and they're talking about how like the other, uh, I forgot when it was, but they wanted to go into the room with NASA mm -hmm. when they were doing another one. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh, we don't have a good image of it." Mm, yeah, yeah, but it was like, "Wait!" But when we did the first one mm. back in like the '60s, yeah, y'all could see it perfect. Yeah, mm. so that's when the conspiracy theory. Yeah, was the, like, what is it? Like, yeah, it's it a lot of yeah, just the 
especially the the film, the video, yeah. the videos of it. It is kind of uh, trippy, but I mean, at the same time too, like we us as humans on Earth, we still can't comprehend like how does it look like to be on another um, rock in a sense in yeah. space, you know. Yeah. Um, so we can't really comprehend what we're seeing, and so we try to like um, explain it away with you know with our logic uh, like that is on earth you know, right? like that does, it goes back to you're right i'm wrong i mean i'm right you're wrong yeah yeah but yeah in the yeah, end yeah that's logics. all that yeah um, well i don't know if you've heard of this yeah i, I definitely know you have hmm. but my conspiracy theory my favorite one right now is cern in switzerland oh yeah yeah i CERN heard that yeah, yeah yeah if y'all if, if y'all don't know what cern is listen to this they're a kind of laboratory type place in switzerland and supposedly uh, they're making black holes. Yeah, they, they have a particle accelerator. Yeah, it's gonna be another the flash thing. <laughs> but um, if you look at the CERN logo, mm, it's yeah, just yeah. six six six. Yeah, all kind of turned around, and it's in a part of Switzerland that like you cannot go to. Mm -hmm. Like they blocked it off. Yeah. nobody. They even shut them down, but they're re they're coming back. Yeah, they're yeah, I think back. yeah. Well, uh, there there's another theory uh, where. Some people think kind of like the the times we're in. I can't remember what year they did it, um, but they they were successful. Like, yeah, but, it, you know, when when I say six, like they are trying to make like black holes and all, but they're trying to understand it. But like the black holes they're making is just like an instant, like they're, they're hitting like atoms together, you know, yeah, kind of. Exactly. And so uh, it's just an instant. It's not like they're like able to create it or like, well, I mean, you, you we don't know, like all of a sudden, like earth is just gone <laughs> You're just because imagine, of that just in a second because of CERN? yeah yeah that'd be crazy. um but they were successful i can't remember what year it was but there's the whole conspiracy thing theory where uh because they were successful uh that that black hole because black holes are also uh correlating with correlate with time travel yeah or like yeah. other dimensions and so people think that uh we like when that happened or whatever whenever year that happened uh like our timeline or our like universe like jumped and so we're in another universe. Yeah, and so that where that too. that's where the Mandela effect comes into play, where um, it's that uh, it's that theory where like a lot of people uh, remember uh, certain things, that, you know, they used to look like things. Yeah. But then now it's something different. Yeah. Now yeah, it's something yeah, different. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Where. Uh, yeah. Uh, one example is like uh, the, the bear scene bears, the, the, the bear stein, where, 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 where yeah. the spelling um or there's like that, the fruit of the loom doesn't have a corner yeah, yeah that one or, or um something like that yeah the monopoly man doesn't have a yeah yeah all that yeah all all that and so yeah people like certain like a good amount of people like remember it this way but in actuality no it was this way and so just at, imagine that. like yeah and so uh there yeah that theory correlates to the cern yeah. to cern like did did curious george have a tail oh yeah that does he not have a yeah, tail yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's crazy. And so, yeah, that's my favorite conspiracy theory. Like, is CERN actually doing this? Mm, and, yeah. yeah. And like, have, but you, yeah. have you seen the, the monument outside? Uh, I think the, I heard. It's, it's like a goat. Yeah, it's like a goat. Like the, the goat of the, of the destruction. Um, yeah, it's yeah. The god of destruction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. But it, that's the statue outside of CERN. It makes CERN. sense. But at the same time, too, like, are you trying to scare people away? Like, yeah, what are you, <laughs> what are you like, yeah, probably. They don't want us to know what's inside. Because... Yeah, because it makes sense in a sense of like, I mean, if they are like, if their goal is like understanding black holes, black holes are technically destructive. You know, like if you go in there, like it's, it's over. done. It's, it's over. It's over. Yeah. yeah. So but yeah, that was our makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That was, um, that's my favorite conspiracy, to be honest. Have you? But there, there's some like, uh, I have my my theories. I don't know if you could call them conspiracies or not, but they're like. Um, cause yeah, I mean, I've heard of like a lot of them, um, already. Um, but one that I kind of came up, uh, I'm, I'm, well, I'm not gonna say came up with, but I kind of gone on my own. Uh, it's, um, uh, it's Bible based. It's about yeah. Jesus. Uh -huh. And you it's, about this. This it, is it's that he, uh, he's, uh, I feel like that he's a time traveler. The immortal man. He's time traveler. No, no, no not, wait, well, wait, not wait. that, not, not, well, that, that too. But, uh, but this is mine where it's, uh, he's a time traveler. That Jesus is a time traveler. This is your theory. Is my theory. Wait. I feel like people have got like Actually, thought about okay, it. Wait, wait. Talk about your theory. Let me let me hear this. Yeah, because I, I feel like he's a time traveler because, um, and again, it's a theory. Like I'm I'm not like a hundred percent on this, but I mean, 
like the Bible kind of backs it up, you know, a little bit. But people have explained it to me where it's like, no, it's not really him. You know, it's the Holy Spirit. It's, you know, it's, yeah, it is God. Yeah, yeah. But uh, one of the main uh, evidence that I have is the book. Well, not the book, but the, the story in the Old Testament with um, the the three youths. I can't remember their their name. Their names are weird. But they go into the furnace and that Ramshack uh, and Meshack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they they go into the furnace because they don't believe in the the king and the king and their they gods. Don't want to bow. Yeah, 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 they, they don't, don't want to bow. And so yeah. cuz they they have their faith uh, in God and God's told them, you know, like don't don't don't, buy, do, it. don't yeah. do it. They believe, you the believe. Truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so they're put in the furnace and uh, God tells them he'll protect them. And so um, there's a fourth person in there. And uh, I think the king or someone says, it says in the Bible that, that it looks like the, the son of God. Yeah. And it's an actual person. And so my theory is that's, that's Jesus. It's Jesus that, <laughs> oh, that's in there with them. Because they, they also see him. They see like the man, yeah, this must like, be the man of God, like the, remember the son of God. They're like, hey, how many people did we put in the furnace? Yeah. yeah. Three? Like there's a there's four <laughs> there's people four in here. yeah that's a Veggie Tales reference so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like uh, hey boss uh, how many how many people do we throw in the furnace uh it should be three there's four people in here yeah no that was a Veggie Tales yeah but I remember yeah yeah and, and so I believe like well I think that it's uh, it was Jesus it was Jesus but because uh and because he's time shallow you know like he, he was just like there and then he just bounced he was yeah, like cause okay because he, he hadn't like, like yeah. died on the cross yeah, 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 yeah and showed up and so. Uh, not like it could be either way, you know, because uh, again, I, I mean, I'm just, you know, this is theory, you know, it could have mm -hmm. been, it could have been like any time he could have just time traveled or bounced. Um, but it's like, thanks, thanks for believing. <laughs> like, <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> exactly. uh, but another one is, is a big one, which is like very supernatural. And, uh, and this is a, like, it kind of also, coincides with my theory where it's uh it's, it was a theory also on uh ninjas of butterflies and you'll get to that okay. where yeah, yeah. where uh, um uh i think it's josh yeah josh is the one that he uh he does this theory of like that in the bible uh, with the whole supernatural stuff and everything even and, and this goes with jesus also like there is some sort of time travel um like warp in time where it's the transfiguration because remember okay. when he goes okay. up into the mountain and he's speaking with uh, Moses and uh, I think Elijah and they're, they're speaking and because it's proof because, um, well, it's said because uh, John, James and uh, and Simon Peter, they're up there and they, they see it and they recount it. They're like, oh, like, you know, and then the, the big old cloud that comes in yeah. and then yeah. tells them that tells them it says like like this is my son, you know, and it's God yeah. talking to them saying like yeah. this is my son yeah. and this is in a sense proof of that. And, uh, but yeah, but the transfiguration where, uh, um, in a sense, yeah, like Jesus is talking with Moses and Elijah. And so his theory is in the sense of like, um, it's, uh, obviously it, it could be the spirit of them, you know, the, uh, them talking to him and Jesus is able to do that cause he's God, but it's also, it's a theory of like the time warp or like the wormholes in a sense, because in moments in the Bible, in the old Testament, um, Moses does go up in the mountain on a mountain and Elijah does too. And nobody truly knows what happened up there. It's just, you yeah. know, they say they go up yeah. there, you know, with Moses going to Mount Sinai and he's up there for a good amount of time. And, um, and that's when the, like the people start, they build the bull and yeah, start yeah, worshiping they, the idols. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah okay, Cause okay, he's taking yeah. forever just and everything. Sure like, right and, uh, but Moses says he's talking to God and everything. But I mean, um, it's not far fetched to say, to think at that moment in time, he was talking to God but he was talking to Jesus. And so they're all like talking to God, well, Jesus at the same time, but through like time travel, like through time warp, like a warm, like a warm. Doesn't, uh, I don't. Yeah. It's, I, I mean, like I said, it's far fetched. Think, it's far fetched. But, and, and it's not like I believe it's, it's not that I believe. It, and yeah, I, I, I mean, it's a theory. Like a it's story, not like it's a story funny. in the Bible. Do you remember the story of Abraham and Lot? Where Lot, his his nephew, was in Sodom and Gomorrah, mm. and Jesus comes down mm. to talk with Abraham, and this is when he destroys Sodom and Gomorrah, and he's like, uh, "Oh Jesus, um, if there is, I may get my story wrong. If if I'm wrong, <laughs> let me know. If it was an, I don't know if it was an angel, if it was actually Jesus, but I I want to say it was Jesus, and Lot goes to Sodom and Gomorrah, lives with his family, and 
Abraham asks Jesus, he's like, Jesus, if there are 50 people left in Sodom and Gomorrah that are truly saved, will you save th- this city? Hmm. He's like, if there are 40 people, I will save it. But what if there are 30? If there are 20? And he's like, what if there are 10? And he says, if there are, f- like, no, if there are 10 people in Sodom and Gomorrah that are actually saved and are not doing what they're do- uh, like the bad stuff, I will save that city. Hmm. There weren't. No. So that's when Lot comes off and yeah, yeah. they're running away and it's like don't look back yeah, don't, don't look yeah. back and then Lot's wife turns around yeah, to, the, to the pillar of salt yeah, yeah. but was Abraham talking to Jesus in that story uh, or was he talking to an angel I gotta yeah I gotta read that up again but uh I mean, if it was see, Jesus yeah, see so man, see, so see. he also comes down and tells Abraham and Sarah they're gonna have a child yeah uh, well at that point I think that's is that the angel I think it's the angel yeah I think it's the angel or or, or even God um well, I thought that we have to fact check this a little quick. Let me fact check. Uh, we're, we're great. We're great Christians, by the way. You know, we know our Bible. Yeah. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know our stories. Um, but no, yeah, that's that's my little theory in the sense of like, yeah, that I, I guess ever since that story of the furnace and everything, I did like, I did think like, well, you know, well, that was Jesus because he's they say he's son of God. The only son of God is Jesus Christ. Well, if we go to Genesis seventeen, fifteen. It says, God also said to Abraham, as for Sarah, Sarai, your wife, you are no longer to call her Sarai. Your name, her name will be Sarah. And I will bless her. This is 16. I will bless her and will surely give you a son by her. I will bless her so that she will be the mother of nations. Kings of peoples will come from her. 17 says, Abraham fell face down. He left and said to himself, will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah bear a child at the age of 90? 18 says, and Abraham said to God, if only Ishmael might live under your blessing. 19 says, then God said, yes, but your wife Sarah will bear you a son Mm. and you will call him Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendants after him. So he's talking to God. Oh yeah, he's talking to God. Yeah. um, So yeah. It's, I mean, you know, in Abraham, like, uh, they're, they're, they're like, they're like this, you know. Abraham and yeah, God. And, yeah. Yeah. He almost dabbed like, him. Dabbed him. Yeah. And it, it, was, was, <laughs> it was like, dude, you actually believe me? Almost, you know? Like, yeah. 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 And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. God was like, dude, man, like, like, bro, calm down, bro. I didn't like, like mean it, bro. Yeah. It's like, bro, like, bro. But no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. He was like, no, good. Now, you're I know, I know, I know you are too blurry. And like, like Abraham, yeah. Job, all these men in the Bible. I feel like that was the first time of like, First instance of like childhood tra- trauma. PTSD, <laughs> PTSD started with Isaac. Yeah. Post traumatic like, stress disorder yeah. was started with Isaac, mm-hmm. almost getting killed by his own father. <laughs> Who can you trust anymore? Who can you trust? <laughs> uh, nah, nah he was cool with it. He was cool. <laughs> yeah. like, he was like, like no, oh, I was, I it was for God? Oh, yeah, it was for God? It was no, for, yeah. It was for the man himself? Is that big, you know, it was like, I deserve Big G? Just, just yeah. go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it. Yeah, I want to go live with him anyway. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. No, so, I was. So yeah, that that's my. Spiel like my theory of in the sense uh, that I, I'm not gonna say came up with. I feel like people have talked about it. Um, I don't know who, but I feel like Josh on the Sunday cool. I know oh, you're watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you are. But, but uh, speaking of time travel, speaking of speaking with Jesus. Well, yeah, speaking yeah. speaking you with had Jesus. Told me about yes, this and there's another one. Theory. Yeah, there's yeah, another the theory. Mortal man. Yeah, it's um, let me. It, it's known by yeah, it's immortal man, the wandering Jew, the wandering um, Jew. Yeah, yeah. Let me look it up here. Every time we say the word Jew, it just brings about like South Park memories because Cartman <laughs> just makes fun of Kyle for being a Jew. Sorry, I thought I'd just spit about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the wandering Jew. Um. Yeah, yeah. the eternal Jew. So uh, trying to look for his other name because this is, again, this is just a legend, like a folk yeah, tale yeah. in a sense, but it's, it is a fun kind of the, uh, to hear about it um he had a he had another name that wandering dude <laughs> yeah uh what Tred- was his name Tredescancha sabrina no uh it, purple heart no moses in the basket why are there so many different names about this guy that's weird queen da, da, da. looking looking but yeah, so it's funny because when he told me about this, I was like, oh, "No way!" <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's really interesting. So the the story is that uh, um, 
the wandering Jew, it was, there was this uh, man, um, he has his name and everything. I'm trying, I'm trying to look for it. He has a name. Um, oh, obviously he has a name. (laughs) What's his name, Jose? What's his name? I can't find Saver? The name of Saver has been given to the wandering Jew? I guess so. I guess that's uh, that was like his Jewish name or, okay. or yeah, yeah, Hebrew yeah. name. Um, but so tell, uh, tell about the wandering Jew. So, tell, tell so it name. was during the time when uh, Jesus was about to be crucified that he was walking um, with his cross, uh, about to be crucified. And it was in that moment, it was in one of the moments where he uh, he had fell and he was taking a break. And then, uh, you know, there's crowd people, you know, kind of taunting him, you yeah. know, like saying like all these bad things. And there's one. Uh, our our main character, <laughs> uh, but of the story, um, but he he like uh, he shouts out at, at Jesus saying that um, like like get up like there's no time uh, for you to rest you had to go you know get, get, go get cru- him, yeah taunting him you know like uh, go get crucified you know and all that and so Jesus hears them and he looks at him and he points at him and says it's like well you will not rest until I return. Till the next time I return. Crazy. And so at the time, or at that moment, at that moment, he didn't think much of it. He was like, "Well, okay, you're about to die. You know, like when you come back. <laughs> you know, when you come. Back. Back. Yeah, what, yeah. what do you mean come back? And so, um, at, and so he's referring. Jesus is obviously referring to when he with his second coming, because obviously he returns back from yeah, the he's dead. Come back, guys. Um, but he does he does leave, and but he is uh, but he does say he will return to his second coming, and so. Where this goes is that the man that was told that he uh, years have, years pass and he doesn't uh, he doesn't age. Yeah. Every everyone around him, his family and everything, ages and dies, and he realizes, <laughs> oh, crap! This is what he <laughs> this is what he was talking That's about. What he meant by that. And so, ergo, the wandering Jew. And yeah. so he walks. You know, he's walking. Uh, you know, the pretty much walks on earth. You know, immortal. And so, yeah, that's a kind of a folktale or folklore, you know, of uh, this of this man. And, and it's kind of it's kind of interesting because it does like it's like anything like biblical related when it comes to like conspiracy theories or like stories like like that. It is kind of interesting just because uh, we're familiar with that, and it, it could happen because Jesus, you know, his power, you know. And so it's fun to think about. And so more towards that is that uh, he he, you know, there's stories told. Um, um, so where that comes from is because there's stories told um, uh, throughout England during like the 1700s, 1600s, um, you, know, you know, back in the day, Yo, back, back, in, back the, in that day. Not too long uh, ago. Which, yeah. by the way, um, this this one, um, this story uh, also got it from uh, the Y Files. Uh, it's, a, it's a YouTube channel. Um, that he pretty much does like all this stuff too, conspiracy theories and everything. And uh, so the, oh, well, uh, with Ninja Butterflies, yeah. they reference him a lot too. Um, because he, he's great at like telling these stories and everything. And so he has a story of this, um, the two, uh, two parter and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, pretty much he starts it off with, uh, yeah, like there is this known man I, and I forget his name. Like I said, he has his, he has his name, uh, uh like an English name now. And, uh, he goes around, uh, he, I think it starts off. The story starts off where, um, he's detained by, uh, the, uh, he's in France and he's detained by the French police. And they're like wondering like who he is and everything, but they can't figure it out. They can't figure yeah. out who he is and all. And he tells them their na- his name, and that he's been around. And then they start getting to talk. And there's events that they talk about like in the past. And he recounts these events like wars and stuff like that, or historical events. And he tells them that he tells the the guards or the police that yeah, like you know this this and that happened. And they're surprised because it's as if he's telling it like he's he was there. He was there. And he was like, like yeah yeah I was I was there. Yeah, because I was there, and so, and so, uh, he ends up being released. Because I I can't remember what they, the reason why they detained him, but he ends up being released, and uh, he's pretty much gone, yeah. gone. And so, he he's kind of a recurring figure or returning, uh, like uh, character in a sense, and like throughout time and everything, um, throughout these events. And so, like, he goes to, he's, like, well-known in parties and stuff like that. Everybody knows about him. And uh, they also call him, and and supposedly he knows alchemy, which is, like, the pra- practice of, like, uh, like making, uh, like, rocks into, like, gold, you know, kind of that, yeah. like, transforming, yeah. like, like that kind of stuff. 
And so supposedly another story is where um, if you give him like a gem, like a precious stone or like a diamond, he can make it a, like a perfect stone. Like if you just give it to him, he'll make it like even perfect. Because uh, depending on the cut of like a gem or like a stone, uh, that brings up its value or like it determines its value. And so uh, he, he says like with his alchemy or his knowledge, if you give it to him, just give him like a few months and he'll come back with a, a rarer stone or like a more expensive stone. And so uh, like they believe he's an alchemist and everything. And and so he's been detained by the king, I think the king of France. And uh, he he tells him all this to the, to the king and the king's intrigued. And he's like, OK, you know, you're, you're going to do this for me. Yeah. And uh, he does like it takes him like six months or something, but he ends up giving yeah, him yeah, a gem, gem. Th that's like or the diamond that's like worth like even more now like it did before. And so um, but then before like they can like interrogate him or like ask him more stuff. He, he's gone. He's gone again. Crazy. But he he still returns to like parties and stuff like that. Yeah. And people know him and everything. He does like magic tricks and all that and everything because supposedly he's immortal, you know, and he's been around so long. He's learned all this knowledge. And so uh, there's even like accounts where like there's these uh, people that come up to him and like ask him like, well, aren't are you related to somebody like that? I, I know because I've seen you before. Yeah. Are, are you this person's grandson? Because I saw him like uh, like. 30 years ago but then he tells them no no that was me, was me. No, you, we met we met, actually met 30 years ago that 30 years and so yeah and so his story is even t like uh known in america's whenever the new world is discovered yeah. and there's that uh there's another like story where uh uh when it involves the declaration of independence where all the founding fathers they're in the they're in like one of the rooms where they're about to sign but everybody's afraid to sign because like they're pretty much they're declaring war against England, yeah. and so um, a, a figure from from the crowd or like the people that are in the building, um, like comes out and starts. It gives like a big old speech, you know, like <laughs> like Braveheart, you know, like oh, you know, it's, like, it's like yeah, it's like like y'all can do this, we can do like can let's do get like independence and everything. And so it brings up the confidence of uh, John Hancock to be the first one to sign, and, and then everybody else comes to signs, and so they want to thank him, but. He's, um, gone. he's not there. He's gone. Yeah. And so they're confused because the the building they're in or the room they're in, it's locked uh, because it's like a major like signing and all. And so everything's locked. The guards are there and everything, but he's gone. He's gone. And so, you know, that that's his uh, that's kind of his story, you know, everything. And supposedly, you know, he's still out there and all that, you know, um, but uh, it, uh, it it is debunked in a sense. It's still a story. You know, it's yeah. a story and everything because uh uh, some people chalk it up to that it was just uh, a con man, you know, it's a con man. Con man. During that time, whenever the mortal man was being told and everything, um, he uh, like he would say these certain things and everything. Sure, I mean, anybody can learn like their history or whatever, yeah. like yeah. be like that. Um, but then like the it's kind of debunked or like he's a con man because of the alchemy alchemy stuff. Um, some people think or it it was even witnessed that um, like the stones he was given back, they're fake. You know, they're like fake stones and everything. Yeah, they look like real, you know, stones, but they're fake. Yeah. They, he was just kind of conning them from their real stones and, and all that. Just gone by the time. Yeah, and so, have, yeah, yeah, and obviously, like, uh, obviously he's gone, you know, yeah. like, because, yeah, he's running away. <laughs> and then the people that recount, like, seeing him 30 years before or whatever, and him saying, yeah, well, the people that are recounting them, they're recounting him. They're, like, old. They're, like, really yeah. old and, like, yeah. see now and, like, sure, like, to an older or senile person, if you look familiar, I mean, they'll, think, they'll, they'll think, you know, and they'll believe whatever you say or whatever. So unfortunately, yeah, he most likely was a con man, yeah, but it, it is, it is fun. It's it is fun kind of a fun story. That, yeah, it is a fun story. Fun Cause yeah, he's about talked about like, he's walked with Jesus and everything. <laughs> he's, he's been there in the time, those yeah. times and all that. But yeah, no, that's crazy that when you told me about like, when you said that Jesus looked at him and said, you will not rest yeah. until I come mm. to my return. I was like, oh, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it has been debunked. Mm. But you know what's crazy? What's that? I'm the immortal. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't have a podcast with Jose. Yeah. But um, but yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a fun little story that you told me. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when I first heard it, heard it um, that also intrigued me too whenever it started off. Or that's how he gained his immortality in a sense of like, it was not a gift. It was a curse. And, you know, it was That's a curse. <laughs> it was a curse. So, yeah. You know what's cursed? What was that? Rap beef. Oh, rap beef. 
when rappers have beef yes with each other mm-hmm. and you know who has rap beef right now the the big three the big three, the big three. Yeah. or i mean that's what jay cole says yeah <laughs> yeah if y'all don't know well one of my favorite rappers is actually jay cole Mm. I'm not a big fan of Kendrick, but I'm fan of both. I'm fan of both. I'm more of a fan of J Cole. Fan of and so, yeah, Kendrick and J Cole mm. getting into it right now. Mm-hmm. Getting into it right now. Jose well, talking I'll, about this. Yeah, I'll say uh, it's it's been going on right now, like past few weeks and all that. Um, just yesterday, uh, Drake released like or his leaks in a sense of like his leak disc. Yeah. Um, uh, everybody's heard it. I think. On YouTube and everything. It's not out, like, officially, but, like, it's been leaked and everything. Um, but supposedly he goes after, like, not, not just Kendrick, or, but he goes to everybody. He goes after he everybody. 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 It's kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, just yesterday he was, he, I guess, unofficially released his diss track. Um, but, uh, but yeah. No, yeah, and uh, how familiar are you with it? Cause not I mean, as not as much yeah. as I wanted to be yeah, yeah, yeah. for this conversation. Yeah, yeah. But I, I I heard you talk about it and I was like, what? I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll say we can get our takes of like, yeah, uh, yeah. what because especially what recently happened. Um, so it's not thing new. It's nothing new yes, in the sense of like not. them uh, beefing or quote unquote beefing, um, because J Cole he claims a lot of times, like every single time, like every song. That he's number one. He's the greatest. You know, he's yeah, the greatest of all time. Yeah. All that, um, and so, so I, gu- I guess I'll give you a little backstory of like J Cole and Kendrick. Um, they they actually came up at the same time, around the same time. Um, like whenever uh, J Cole dropped his first album, like official album, uh, Kendrick dropped uh, Section Eight. That was like his album before, like the the big album, the bigger albums, sure. you know. Yeah, yeah. And so. Uh, you know they they were they come together and even J Cole, um, there's even like uh, clips or like interviews where J Cole in a sense discovered them. Um, he uh, he he says that uh, that he mentioned Kendrick to to Dr Dre, and so that's that's where Kendrick kind of got his like um, started his started his of, start yeah, yeah. Like, with, with with Dre and them. Um, all the with you know the West Coast rappers and everything, the and so kind of yeah, and so he started off with them and everything, and but yeah, they started off together. You know they're they're all cool. You know helping each other out. They were on features on each other's uh, songs and everything. Um, there was even also mention of a, a J Cole Kendrick album, which would have been pretty cool. That would have been um, pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, they talked about it, but but unfortunately, like it's died down in the sense of like they themselves have said like it, it probably is not going to happen. Because yeah. in the beginning, they like they would get in the studio, they would like work on some stuff, but it would be like their featured stuff. But they would be asked like, "Oh, are we getting like a cool Kendrick album and everything?" And they're like, and every time they were asked, they'll be kind of like, you know, you never know, maybe yeah. you know, we'll see what happens. We're working together a lot, you know. I'm about to meet them, you know, tomorrow, stuff like that. And uh, so a lot of like the 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 media or like the uh, music outlets, rap outlets, yeah. they'll be like, "Oh, it's coming, coming soon." You know, they say it's coming, no, no. Um, and so every time they're asked, they're 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 like, you know, well, you know, nah, we've been, you know, he's been doing his thing, he's been on tour, we haven't had a time, but but it might happen. We we still, you know, and and so little by little it gets, and so recently, like I think they have said, like, yeah, it's not going to happen. No, <laughs> it's not going to happen right. anymore. Sorry, yeah, it's not happening. Um, so it's the whole beef start or. The whole, I guess, I say more of like competition started when uh, there was a song. I can't remember. It was it was like a big feature song also. Um, it's called Control, and uh, I can't remember who it was by officially by, yeah. but Kendrick had a verse on it, and he pretty much um, you know, threw shots at like a lot of rappers saying that he's like the best. Like watch out, like I'm coming, you know, I'm coming from yeah. you, and he name drops like a lot of like artists, and one of them is J Cole. J. Cole. And so a lot of people, fans are like, like, oh, what happened? You know, like, what's going on? You know, uh, what are you going to say, J. Cole? You know, what, you know, what, what's, your, what's response? your response? What's your response? And, and so um, my thing with like this, this tracks and everything. And so I like when Kendrick was asked about it, about that verse, um, he wasn't shy away of like saying like, no, I meant it in the sense of like, uh, you know, I, I give praise to my like other like uh, fellow like, you know, brothers and, you know, yeah. rappers and everything like uh, they, they're great too. They're like one of the greats too. 
but it's a competition, you know, like, yeah, you know, they're going the to be, day. they're going to be one number one, you know? And so he's coming for that spot. And so it, like, and I like to see like these rap beefs or not necessarily beefs, but like whenever there's like this is or something like that. Cause whenever, if you hear honestly, uh, especially with Kendrick, uh, his like, this is quote unquote, this is like, he is dissing them, but not like in a immature way, like putting yeah. their laundry out there and during, not Eminem this like Eminem like <laughs> like if you mess with him like Eminem is gonna like, like go crazy yeah you know, like but crazy. like Kendrick is like he's like in a sense stating his facts of like this is why I'm number one this is why I'm the better lyricist and everything and he like raps in double entendres and all that <laughs> he's he's great he's great um, but that's where I feel like it's in a sense great like uh, competitiveness and like if you want to be the great or want to be number one then okay yeah, prove it prove it like yeah. keep proving it keep like going at it and i feel like it would have been entertaining if uh j cole like stepped it up and he would and which he did which he has like in his features and everything but he doesn't directly go after kendrick he well on some of his like later albums um especially uh the the forced uh drive Four, 2014 for, for yeah for drive. drive yeah that one there's some like uh in th some songs well like a majority of his songs he talks he's like this in Kendrick sometimes yeah. you know moments and yeah. everything and so it is kind of fun in a sense of like well yeah like it's competitiveness they're rivals I want to see them as like rivals you know That'd like crazy. you know like like crazy. trying to sharpen each other um and I mean Kendrick just said it he said it that that's how it is um and so let me think uh so yeah it's been it's been happening it's going because I and I say it's there's nothing really going on because whenever they're talked they talk about it like in interviews again like because the interview will bring it up they're like well, so what's your response or what do you think about what they said yeah. they were like nah man it's all love you know it's all love you know love, like it's like he's my brother you know like we're you know we we know how it is you know and everything but now this recent this um it started with Kendrick and with uh, Metro Boomin and Future and I'm not gonna lie like to me like that that one was like like good that was really good like that was a that was a good verse like like dang he went after all like he went after well he went after drake and uh, uh j cole in a sense from uh i feel like though he was mostly going after drake because he's referring to his to his album mostly yeah yeah um he i feel like i think he mentions his j cole two times in in the verse but the main one is where uh he says like there's no like there, there's no big three there's big just big me like Kendrick oh, says that snap. because okay. in in that song, um, uh, that one song in Drake's album, uh, the the Sharpshooter, I think it's called, um, J Cole's verse. He says that you know there's the big three, which is uh, uh, like it's Aubrey Cole or, or Dot and me, like Aubrey Dot and me, which is uh, Drake and Kendrick and J Cole. You know he he proclaims he like he's part of the, those big three. And uh, and so Kendrick, you know, snap back with like, there's no big three, there's uh, only big me. me. And yeah. so I'm like, dang, that's that's good. That's, that's really a good. Verse, that's, boy. that's good. And so, and so that's where it started. Like again, the beef started again. And so, um, recently, uh, J Cole released uh, uh, kind of a surprise album, I guess. Um, uh, oh, might delete later. later. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Um, but his response to that song, to Kendrick's this, is the la his his last song, which is a uh, seven minute seven minute drill, seven, seven minute, minute drill, drill. Yeah. yeah, yeah, seven minute drill. And so, I heard it when I heard it. Um, it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. You, didn't, you didn't think it was it, as good? It wasn't. It wasn't as because is in a sense his response, but he even says it in the song that it's just a warning shot. It doesn't go all in, and so oh. so. So here's the thing, like, it's kind of like half and half with like with people like either they love it or they hate it. They hate it because of his response. Um, obviously, his fans, they love it, you know, but like the other people <laughs> to other people like uh, they they kind of don't like it or don't appreciate it because like it's like as if he's going easy on him. Like, why are you saying this is a warning shot? Just. Just go just after do it. Just do it. Just yeah, like, you know, okay, okay, okay. get, you know, get into it, you know, get into yeah, it, we prove it. it, like prove it, prove it, prove it. But, um, and so here's where like the debates and like the point of views come into play. Uh, because, um, recently, I think it was last week or last weekend, 
Um, he had a he, uh, J Cole. Uh, he does his whole uh, Dream Dream Fest uh, festival, yeah. uh -huh. uh, Dreamville festival, um, and uh, he was there. Um, I think uh, well, one one of his performances, he it takes a moment to apologize to to Kendrick Lamar. He actually apologizes to Kendrick Lamar no about way. his song, yeah, about the seven minute drill song, and so. It's very unheard of to apologize, to apologize for dick. this. Um, so either way you look at it to like the regular person or to the culture, um, he's going to get hate on it. Yeah, of course. Hate. But I guess we can take this to like the Christian perspective. Um, it was very big of him of doing it because the bigger person. It's, yeah. uh, it, because um, uh, uh, I don't have the exact quote, but. He, he did, like, whenever he was apologizing, in a sense, um, he was saying that, like, uh, he was telling him, telling Kendrick and his fans and all that, you know, honestly, that was the lamest thing that I ever did. Like, that what I, you know, what I said and everything is most corniest, like, lamest thing I did mm -hmm. and all that. Um, I apologize for that. Like, that that was, and a big thing that he said was that, you know, him, like, like him and Kendrick are, like, very, like, he still believes that they're really close, which I feel like they are. Yeah, like again, they're, Kendrick, like, like they said, like, they're like brothers. They yeah, because again, because again with Kendrick, like it's like yeah, like it's a rivalry. You know, it's a more of a rivalry, like trying to like sharpen each other. Like you know, yeah, yeah. okay, give me like give me your best shot now. Like it's your turn. Like give me your best shot. Like brothers usually. Yeah, do. yeah, and so to build up up on you know each other and yeah. uh, you know iron sharpens iron that oh, sense. Always. Um, so, uh, but you know, I feel like. It kind of does show like Kendrick, not Kendrick, uh, J. Cole, like his uh, character, because he did say um, on top of that, he also said that it didn't sit right with his spirit uh, when he when he did that song, you know, because he was kind of peer pressured or yeah. or kind of like provoked by like his I fans or his fans, people yeah. um, saying like, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Like, What's keep, response? What's response? like make a response. And so at that moment, he was kind of he was kind of heated in the sense of like, okay, here's my response. You like know? He did it based off of emotion. Yeah, yeah, and you can hear it too in the song too, like, because he does say it's a warning shot. You know, like obviously there was kind of hesitancy of like going all out. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, but he did say, but that was big of him in a sense, of like, oh yeah, well, well yeah, of course, like if it doesn't sit right with you, like, yeah, apologize for it or like. Say like you know, not nah, you know. This wasn't it. Yeah, you know, this wasn't it. I, I, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this was it. You know, and and so, you know, it, and it is kind of conflicting uh, with uh, J Cole because it's it's that mindset of like you want to play both parts, yeah. where because there's I mean there's a lot of hate comments towards J Cole like a lot now, in a sense there's a lot of people saying like well, which I feel like yeah because he they say like well pick a lane. You know, yeah. pick a lane, J. Cole. Like, uh, if you're not going to be about this, then just be. And it's funny, they reference uh, a fellow Christian rapper, where it's like, like, if you're not going to be about this, then just be a Christian rapper, like uh, like D1, like be D1 dang. guy. And I'm like, dang, like, okay. They're throwing shots. Yeah, yeah. And so it is true. I do see that because, you know, I'm a, uh, the reason why I, I'm a fan of J. Cole uh, is that he does have his, like, positive, like, perspective of like uh his lifestyle and everything he just wants to you know uh he wants to rap and everything you know he, he's a good rapper good lyricist uh and what he raps about it's like yeah like um kind of like the, his lifestyle you know all good and everything but at the same time too he also wants to rap about you know that kind of like like the dog eat like you know dog world in the sense of like you know i'm number one you know i'm the best yeah, you know yeah, i'm the best yeah. and so if you're gonna say that Go you know, you yeah, go for it or like, yeah, Perfect. pick a lane. You have, you have to pick a lane. You can't play both sides. You can't be with like the people that are like all hard, you know, like, you know, you know, the gangster rap and everything, you know, talking about like, you know, like, yeah, like the culture, like the black culture in the sense of like, you know, killing, you know, the, you know, the gang wars, killing yeah. and all that. Yeah. And then on top of that, you know, talk about like, you know, we have to be better, you know, like the. Um, uh, you know, it's us to be the ones to influence, you know, the, the younger generation, you know, at also being a good lyricist, you know, good, time, good times and all. And there's moments where he talks about like, you know, spirituality, you know, like, you, you know, you're, you know, uh, you know, thanking God and everything, all that, um, whoever, you know, whatever he believes in and all that sense, uh, or his spiritual, you know, yeah, thing. So, believes in all that. so yeah, that's kind of my take in that sense. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, uh, yesterday, 
Drake, you know, leaked, you know, leaked his his, his this, his this, and everything. And so, yeah, I mean, I didn't hear it. Um, I hear same thing. It's like mixed feelings about um, with Drake. Honestly, it's he's more of like uh, he's oversaturated for me. Like he he's like over like what over hype. Eh, I guess so. He's a good rapper. Like when he raps, because in uh, in one of uh, um, in his latest album, he released like a bonus tracks. And then on those beats, they're like more of like the beats that I like. And he did like rap pretty good. Like he's he's a good rapper and all. But like uh, the only reason he's the best or they say he's the best or one of the best is because he's just keeps, you know, uh, pushing out content, pushing out raps, you know, uh, music and everything, yeah, yeah. different genres. Uh, and like he's still relevant, you know, and then you have, you know, you have your Drake simps and everything, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Um, Drake simps. But yeah, but. <laughs> You That's said Drake leaks. I thought you were gonna say something. Else. No, 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 no. Um, but yeah, I mean, what what's your take on that? Like, uh, well, J Cole apologizing. You know, like, what's your take on that? I like. Uh, I'm a J Cole fan. I'm not gonna lie, I'm more mm. a J Cole fan than I am a Kendrick fan. So I wish that he wouldn't have apologized. I wish he would have gone all the way out. But like you said, in a more Christian perspective, for him to come out and say, "Look, I apologize for this, for that." It takes balls mm-hmm. to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I will say it is, hopefully, it is like a step in the right direction in the sense of like uh, rap culture. Mm-hmm. Because that is unheard of in like rap culture. Like you don't hear that. You don't hear, you don't hear like someone apologizing. And so, but I did like his explanation for it. And that, that moment where he says um, it didn't sit right in my spirit. Um, which I feel like uh, in a lot of diss tracks, um, yeah, I mean, like it's off emotion. It's of emotion yeah, a lot of the times because a lot of real diss tracks in a sense, like it is like really more, like more nasty, like kind of going after them, like personal lives, like, um, yeah, their personal lives, uh, their friends, moms, yeah, their families, all that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it gets crazy. Um, yeah. I mean, we could compare it to like, um, I mean, there is like a debate in the sense of like what what is considered a good diss track uh, or get good disses. I feel like Eminem is one of them that can only do that. Like he can only like. He, right. Like, but remember when he was going against what's her face? What's that? Uh, uh, the girl that gave him the award at the award show. Oh, um, Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Christina Aguilera. Yeah, yeah. That dis- what? What? Because with Eminem, like, yeah, you just you can't you can't go after him without like backing it up like backing it up because he's gonna go all the way yeah he's gonna go all the way he like he'll he'll show you like like no i'm 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 here like uh, like yeah yeah. um but uh but yeah when it comes to this one um it is uh i don't know yeah it's like eh, like it's kind of it is cringe um, because, because it could have been great if J. Cole would have gone on in. Oh, uh, if he would have like gone gone off with that. Um, but no, he didn't. Um, but again, big ups to him, like apologizing, you know, is really big of him. Um, because, yeah, he, obviously he knows like the backlash he's going to get into that. And then I feel like Drake came in too late with the diss. I was just about to think. Yeah, like, at that. this point, like, Drake is just going in just to be just part to of be, the talk. Just to get the attention. Yeah, just to get attention. He's just an attention person. To prove something yeah. that I'm like, dude, like, it's not, like, no, no. Okay, you know. Let, let, let the men handle this. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. But yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good little talk about it. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, I hope, I hope that it, it, I don't know, I don't know if I either want it to keep going or if I want it to stop. Cause I'd like to see where it could go, but at the same time, I'm like, I like them yeah. working. I, at this point, I feel like it's Kendrick's uh, turn, turn yeah. to respond, and so we'll see. It says sorry. I, <laughs> I'm, I, I feel like I could be wrong. He, I think there's three possibilities. I feel like Kendrick can do one is actually do nothing and just wait till like he releases music, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, or he does respond, but. Um, and yeah, he goes at them, at both of them, like hard Drake again, yeah, again. Yeah, again. Yeah. Or the third option is like, um, he does go, he doesn't respond, but like he goes harder on Drake, then on but he Jake. And, and he like kind of gives J Cole like his props or something, okay, like that. respect, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. respect. 
So those are the three outcomes Dude, I feel like that J. Could Cole happen. and Kendrick versus Drake. <laughs> that would never crazy. Tracks. That'd be, That'd be like, crazy. uh, like, It'll make uh, Jay cry. Yeah. <laughs> well, and now, like, supposedly I've heard that there is, like, this kind of rap war, in a sense, because, um, there, I feel like there was, I think there was talk about, like, there's a reason why Metro Boomin and Future got Kendrick to top on. It's because they have beef, Metro Boomin and Future have beef with Drake and his peoples. Um, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I missed it. No, you're good, you're good. Chio? Yeah. You should be watching the podcast. Yeah, no, you should be. She's probably watching. Oh, if she's watching, uh, yes. I just, I'll just say that. Yes. I just, I just respond. Yeah. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Will you be here? Yeah, you'll be. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. So, so yes. Yes. So yes. Um, but um, yeah, yeah. This is it's just uh, the Metro Human Future. So yeah, there versus Drake. Yeah. Well, Drake and his people, like his like producers and all that too. Like yeah, they're like, like we have just rappers in a sense, like kind of like head to head, like, which is kind of cool in the sense of like entertaining you yeah, know like entertaining. like uh it's like the like avengers civil war <laughs> like uh, people compare it to that uh, it. so they could i mean and so that's my other thing about like rap this is or like rap beef they take it too personal they take it like they take it too personal um like some some artists are like they're doing it for like the clout like yeah. like for entertainment like like dude like imagine like how many more viewers we'll get like how much how much money we're gonna get from this yeah like yeah, yeah, this is plant but if some artists take it too personally they get butt hurt and then it just becomes too just that's where it gets like nasty and like yeah cringy and all like okay y'all can stop like we don't want to hear this anymore so if it is a thing where it's uh it it is like a Avengers Civil War type of thing. It'll be kind of cool. Yeah. Like imagine imagine like the like them do like um, uh, movie posters kind of like like oh have the sides gosh. and all like the like does all the that side. yeah the Jake sides yeah. and all yeah all that so that'd I think that'd be funny that yeah that'd be cool that'd be cool. But um, speaking of movie posters, <laughs> CinemaCon's coming up. Well, it passed. Yeah, it it passed. Are, it yeah. are passed. It are passed. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm not a big CinemaCon person. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wasn't either. Um, it's just the reason I know about it is because I've heard a lot of uh, news, movie news that are coming out. Uh, just pick up on me for <laughs> He's got yeah, a sign. Yeah, yeah. So CinemaCon, what I know about it is um, it's a convention, but it's not like to the people. It's mostly towards uh, the the, mov- uh, the movie theater like um, um, owners, all that. In a sense, like AMC, you know, like uh, yeah, all that. Regal and yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all the the companies, the big, the big, the big heads, big uh, you know, uh, uh, and I guess media too, like media are like invited, um, and so it's pretty much a promotion for movie studios to promote their movies to the movie theaters, so they can, so they can bring them to the bring them to the movie show theaters, them. yeah. So, which is kind of, I don't know how I feel about that, but okay, you know, okay, let okay if you, okay. But also gives us movie news. Um, yeah. There's some. It's kind of cool because there's some like people that go or are able to go. They they also reveal like uh, footage for the movie, new movies and everything. So Marvel, they finally like letting us know when these when the next Marvel movies are coming out. Um, one of them um, is uh, the new Captain America movie. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, Captain America in the New Worlds or something like that. Uh, it's changed its title a lot. Yeah. So the last time we saw Captain America, uh, if you've seen the Disney Plus show, the Falcon, Plus Cap- Falcon, Falcon, and the Winter Falcon Soldier. and the Winter Soldier. And then at the end of the series, it changes to Captain America and the Winter Soldier, yeah. because Falcon takes uh, takes over t- as takes over Captain as Captain America, America which is uh, which for all the people, the the racist people out there, <laughs> like guys. Like, like it's not like a woke thing that the uh, Marvel Studios doing. No, it's, it's actually it's in the comics. comics. Like it's in a part yeah. of the comic books. Like that happens. But so. you know what I don't like? <laughs> the Little Mermaid. No, I'm <laughs> she's. Not, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Don't cancel. Me. Uh, yeah, yeah, cancel him, not me. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be here next week because I'm gonna cancel. <laughs> the actor's silence is just over. Yeah, and so um, so they revealed more footage about it. It's gonna be released next year. Um, during the 
during the summer, I think June or July, somewhere around there. Um, they're gonna they're gonna release it then. They showed some footage off. Um, it was mainly uh, it was uh, Harrison Ford is part of that movie now. Is he's he? take he's being he's being recast as or not recast, but uh, there's being recast uh, for General Ross. Um, he's he's the he was seen as a uh, in uh, I think the last time we saw him was in. Uh, uh, General Ross is the one in, in Avengers Civil, in, in Civil War. He's in Civil, Captain America Civil War. Isn't Were that? they trying to, to get the Avengers to, to sign the, the treaty? Yeah, yeah, the treaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's also well known in in the Critical Hulk. He's the general that wants he to is, take down. The, he's he is. yeah, he's 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 really racist against the Hulk. Because <laughs> he, he's good. green, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but he wants. But he's the general that wants to do like he wants to use the super soldier serum for the military and all that. Yeah. And the Hulk is created. Um, and so it's all intertwined with like Captain America and all that. Mm-hmm. And so the actor that played him, I think he, uh, I think he actually passed away. And uh, so he's being recast yeah. in this new Captain America and Harrison Ford is going to play him. As in um, the guy from Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, you know, Indiana he's Jones. Indiana Jones, yeah. um, uh, um, slash other insert other movie here of, other movie featuring Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, not the truck guys, but, um, and uh, what was he saying? Oh yeah. And so he's playing. Uh, he's playing General Ross. General Ross. Yeah. Uh, which is now uh, President Ross. He's the president of the United States now in the movie oh, in no. the Marvel universe. And so Gringy. yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, there there's some explaining to do because I think in the recent uh, one of the recent Disney Plus Marvel uh, shows, it shows a president of the United States, but it's not General Ross. It's someone else. So Ooh. they got some explaining to do there. Yeah, let's, um, see. let's yeah. see how the writers can write this yeah. one up. So supposedly it's done, it's ready, um, but it'll be released. Th- this this movie has been delayed so many times. So finally to get it, you know, and there's other stuff that uh, uh, people are hoping to see in the movie. Um, I think the big bad in there is the leader, which is a Hulk villain, um, and he was also he's also last seen or teased in the Incredible Hulk. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen that movie or if you've seen it or remember it. Um, at the end of the movie, whenever uh, uh, the Hulk was uh, is about to battle Abomination, um, I think in one of the labs, there's a scientist there that uh, I think the military um, raids or I think it's Abomination that like destroys it. And like uh, he's injured and uh, he I think he gets like a cut in his head. And then, like the the gamma radiation or the serum that they the super soldier serum for the Hulk, is uh gets contaminated with his uh, blood, and he oh. gets a big head. He gets him get bit. And so in the comics, the leader is like a green guy. He's another version of Hulk or another Hulk person, but instead of being really strong, he's really smart. Incredibly smart. He's really smart. Oh, he got a big old yeah. head. He got his brain. And so, I think they say that he's the villain, the main villain for the Captain America movies. Oh, okay. So he's gonna be the villain. Kind of like. Injustice is uh, Brainiac. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think people are speculating the Red Hulk is probably up here, which is um, General Ross turning into the Hulk. Yeah, um, I remember so that. He's the Red yeah. Hulk, so he might appear. President, um, That'd be crazy. Yeah. And, and I wonder if some I wonder. Stuff. I wonder if um, do you remember the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk show? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, She Hulk. Yeah, yeah. She Hulk. I wonder if yeah. she's going to show up as yeah. a lawyer or something. Yeah, uh, people are thinking or saying that this might be like a. Like a Hulk slash Captain America Captain movie. movie, so okay. yeah. yeah, so it might like intertwine or lead into that. I wouldn't mind a movie like that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. Um, I think there's other stuff that they're is gonna. There, is, oh, when does Secret Wars come out? Oh, that one. That one's like their big Avengers movie. That one's like still years away. I think 2028, 20, 27. They're, go, they're going against Galactica now. Uh, Galactus, there's what's his name? Uh, yeah, Galactus. Um, some worlds. people are thinking he might be a villain for the Fantastic Four when that comes out. You talked about this. Yeah, that's the Fantastic Four. He's kind of, um, right now. It's up in the air of who's going to be the real villain for Secret Wars, because um, I think it was planned to be King the Conqueror, but because of the the actor Jonathan Majors, his kind of whole you know ordeal with uh, um, his uh, lawsuit or you know his like yeah. suit. Um, He's been fired or he's been let go from Disney and Earth or Marvel. Crazy. So he's not going to be playing Kang anymore. People are thinking or hoping that he might be get recast for someone else, another yeah. actor, yeah. which I wouldn't mind. Um, it's it's already like a multiversal, you know, like 
thing they're doing. So it's not far fetched to think to just this is another yeah. Kang from another universe, you know. Yeah. Um, well, a big one. Another big one is Doctor Doom because he plays a big role in the comics in Secret Wars. So uh, maybe Doctor Doom will appear. Wouldn't be a bad. Wouldn't be a bad villain to be mm-hmm. honest with you. So it's still up in there. Nobody really knows for sure officially who's going to be the the big bad and all that. Um, I think uh, what other movies they talked about. Um, oh, the big one, uh, which is uh, will uh, will be coming soon. Um, Deadpool versus Wolverine, Wolverine or Deadpool yeah. and Wolverine. Yeah, that the new Deadpool movie, uh, which That's one I want to which see. will introduce Deadpool in the MCU. He'll be part of the MCU now. Um, so, so yeah, so we're going to see, and Hugh Jackman returning as the Wolverine, as the Wolverine. and, uh, he's going to be in his, uh, comic book accurate suit now because he's never, yeah, no, especially he's with never. the X-Men, they, they've never been really, um, been put in their like it's comic book suits, yeah, 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 suits yeah, yeah. you know, which I get it. Like, it's like very cartoonish, you know, it really yeah, is very yeah, cartoonish. But that's kind of what. Yeah, I mean it's comic books, you know, they, they were close on some of the X-Men movies, like X-Men first class. Uh, their suits that they wore were like the the '90s show uh, suits. Um, I think in the the more recent um, uh, reboot X Men, um, they're seen in their closer colored yeah. uh, suits. Uh, they look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, but people are saying that this Deadpool movie is introducing the X Men to the MCU. Going to start uh, using those. So they're all people. coming in. So yeah, they're yeah, all coming yeah, together. Come on in. And so there, uh, there was also uh, some footage released for uh, Deadpool and everything um, during that. T- they were shown. It was shown during that uh, CinemaCon. Um, I think what uh, I want there was like a, I guess spoilers alert. I don't know. Like it's like in the beginning of the movie yeah. they say, um, but it's supposedly like um, Deadpool Wade. He's like working like a part time job or something with somebody, and uh, he's like kind of depressed and everything, and like it's his birthday and when. He gets to his apartment. It's in the trailer too. Like yeah, it's shown in the trailer, yeah, yeah. and it's kind of like uh, it kind of uh, confirms that uh, him and like his girlfriend at the time or wife, um, they're split. They're no oh, longer seeing each okay, other, okay. and that's why he's kind of sad. But she's there, like in the party and everything. And supposedly, like all the X Men people that we've seen uh, in the Deadpool movies, they're there. Everybody's there, and then the TVA comes and takes them away, and then. Um, TVA is involved. The TVA is okay, involved, yeah. Okay. Uh, in the trailer, you see it in the trailer too. It's pretty much the trailer, but it's like extended in the sense, extended and trailer. Uh, extended he's trailer, trailer. <laughs> and uh, it shows him uh, in the trailer, the part of the trailer, like he's shown through the TVA, and there's like a wall of TVs, and it shows like clips of like all like the Marvel movies, especially like uh, Age of Ultron, Captain America, oh. all that, and then uh, I think it shows more of like um, uh, I think it shows more of like Captain America. And uh, it's like Deadpool, like uh, saluting him and everything <laughs> through the TV. And then there's another one, which they explained it, but it's kind of hard to understand what's going on because it shows Thor. I think I think how it's it's shown it's shown Thor. Um, I, I'm assuming it's another universe, but it shows Thor like praising or like crying over Deadpool's like like physique physique and everything because. <laughs> You know, in like it's like a inside joke or like it's a joke of like Thor is like the the strongest or Strong, he's like the most more, more handsome yeah, yeah, yeah. like more handsome guy with all the muscles and everything. And so uh, I think, oh yeah, and then there's a moment uh, where and then after that he's like given a new suit and everything he's trying it on. I think it's shown in the trailer too. And then like uh, after like this whole montage, he goes up into the. It's funny. This is where like it fourth wall breaks. He goes up to the camera and like I think he like pulls it in and then he like grabs a microphone from behind the camera and like he or something like that and he kind of yells at the screen saying like like uh like like if you fox like i'm going to disney world oh my gosh <laughs> so, i gotta watch the trailer. So, it's, 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 it's so it's so great and so i think it ends there and like gotcha. there's more like teases of like wolverine and stuff like that so well yeah uh so yeah it's it's still really unknown like what's gonna happen i think they did reveal the the villain. Uh, it's go- actually going to be the sister of Professor Professor Xavier, Professor, Professor X's, X's sister. Yeah, sister, twin sister. In the comics, is she bald. Oh, I think I think she is actually. No way. <laughs> so in the comics, uh, supposedly she tried to kill him in the womb, you <laughs> know, in the womb, and so but she was unsuccessful, and so I I can't remember what happened. I think she was birthed and everything, but. Um, 
they were separated or something. Yeah. I don't know. And so, and so now yeah. that but, Professor X is dead because you know the Doctor Strange movies. Mm. Well, that goes. So this is where it goes. Kind of, it gets weird because, I mean, for me, when it comes to the Marvel movies now and the multiverse thing and everything, yeah, you you never know. You never you know who's dead or alive. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, that Professor X is dead, but the universe where uh, Deadpool is in. Or wherever he goes, he's, there's still a Professor X there. Imagine so. Professor X is like a pizza delivery. Could, uh, well, because, uh, I mean, Wolverine, like, uh, supposedly he's dead. And Logan, he died. In the, in but his now he's, But he's alive. So yeah, 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 which Logan or which Wolverine is this? You know, is which, Logan. yeah. Because this one's wearing a suit now. He's mm-hmm. not wearing just yeah. the regular clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so who it's, is this? Yeah, it's a lot of Tommy wimey multiversal Tommy. type of stuff. So, All right, man. And I think, yeah, there's other movies that, you know, they announce. Uh, put your favorite, put your movie that you're ready to see yeah. in the comments. See what in the comments, you're... chat, whatever. Uh, com- tell us what movie you're, you're, you're wanting, really, excited really wanting, to excited to see. to see. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot, a lot of other movies. Uh, uh, one of my, uh, me and brother kind of excited, uh, the Transformers. Isn't Transformers? The Transformers? I heard about that one coming out. Uh, it's going to be an animated Transformers, though. So okay. it's an animated Transformer movie. So we'll, yeah. we'll see what's going on with that. So, but yeah. Sick. Yeah. Uh, how long this have we been been, This has been a good one. Yeah, it's I mean, been we, good. We talked a good amount yeah, of bit. We, we did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We, yeah, we did it. One down. One down for the books. Right. Uh, tell us how y'all feel about this Sunday episode. I don't know. It's yeah, different. What do y'all really think? What do y'all, what y'all think about it? Um, what do y'all think about the background? Yeah, the nice. The nice, bland, clean, gray, clean, background. elegant. Yes. Yes. Some people may say, mm-hmm. yeah, simplistic. Yes, Com- people yeah. Co- comment down below. Let's see. Tell, tell, tell us how you feel about the. If y'all want to be on this podcast, comment down below. We'll try mm-hmm. to get y'all on. That too. By the way, um, I've been asking a few people. They told me no, or they don't want to. I'm not asking you. again. <laughs> You've lost. Your chance. You lost your chance. Disappointed. Nah, nah, I was kidding. No, yeah. If uh, y'all, whenever y'all ready, or if y'all interested, just hit us up on the. Podcast Instagram, either of our Instagrams. Let us know if you want to be part of it. Um, uh, yeah, give us your opinions or whatever. And same to everybody else. Like if y'all have any topics y'all want us to talk about, um, yeah, us, comment down below or comment, you know, DM. DM us whatever. Um, any questions y'all have? We might do a question corner. Um, yeah, question corner. What's your what, uh, audience question corner? I guess like uh, bring it to the audience. Like if y'all have any questions. Um, advice whatever yeah. we'll try our best uh, or we can even uh, have guest appearances appearances and let them answer them I yeah see we, we, they guys there's no limit to it yeah well I mean we're point. still starting yeah uh, this yeah. is the fourth, fourth one episode. you know um, so uh, again we're we'll try to keep this going again you know apologies again I feel like we're trying to do a schedule but it never you know you never know you never know what life, happens life hits sometimes yeah so, uh, so that's why you should be subscribed. You know, like, subscribe, yeah, follow uh, the Instagram. Follow, so you know when we'll actually. Yeah, follow the Instagram uh, for the updates of cancellations. Yeah, and reschedules. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, follow and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, you'll get the alerts. Get the alerts when we go turn live. The turn the notification bell on. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you'll see. Usually, I'll schedule it so it'll either be the day before or the day of, and you'll kind of see like what time we'll be on or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, just. Uh, that's the one way to kind of keep up with our uh, schedules and everything. Um, we'll try to do a podcast this Thursday. We'll try. Friday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. You know. But Thursdays and Fridays are our main ones. That's I the guess. ones that we try to aim for. Yeah, we'll try yeah. to aim for that uh, as long as nothing's going on. But I guess now we have a third option, um, Sundays. Sundays. <laughs> Sundays. Sundays. Sundays, I guess. At the church. Uh, yeah, at the church. At the praising the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. And um, yeah, so sounds good, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank y'all for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a pause right there. Got a pause going. You can't hear it, but I can't hear it. I was about to say, I can't. yeah, but but as you all know, well, yeah, through service. All right, guys. See we'll later. see y'all. <laughs>